first, I just want to start off this video by saying that I'm genuinely disappointed in myself because I listen to Rempel almost every day and I did not think about making this tutorial until like right now. So let's just get into it. What's up? My name is Devin. I'll go by Infinite or probably by Infinite. And today we're going to be making a beat for Rempel. Ooh, and real quick, if you do like the melody in this video, I am going to leave it on my Patreon. If you don't know what my Patreon is, it's where I send out loops every single week with the stems, key, BPM, MIDI, and you know what I mean? I, I like to throw a couple other perks in there and everything like that. So, if that sounds like something you're interested in, first thing in the bio. Let's get it. All right, so for Rumble type beats, you want them to be very spacious and very dark. So that's gonna be the goal of this. You also want them to be pretty simple as well. So I only have a couple of VSTs pulled up and we're gonna just make it real, real, real light. You feel me? So first we're gonna start off with Purity with the Digi Tubular Bell. And you know what I mean? If you listen to Detroit music, you're gonna be very familiar with this sound. Now we're gonna be using the sound right here because it has a really good impact and it has a really dark tone to it. And it kind of just fits into the criteria that we need. Dark, spacious, good impact. And now next thing that we're gonna do is we're gonna go into my foundation drum kit. If you don't know what that is, it's a free drum kit I dropped a couple weeks ago. And I have a MIDI in there so you can just drag and drop in your claps and everything like that to make it super easy. So we're gonna go do that real quick. All right, and now for the melody, really dark, really spacious, really simple. So that's what we're gonna do. So I'm just gonna be using a regular piano up in Analog Lab 5. This one's called the Piano Strengths Ensemble. And we're just gonna draw in like literally one note melodies until we get happy with it, you know what I mean? All right, cool. So that sounds good to me. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this melody right here, layer it one more time, and then mix them together. So as you see, once I layered it up, it sounded way like more, more beefy and more spacious, and it just became way more full. And that is going to be really important when we're making simple beats, just because when you have not that many elements, it's good to make the elements that you do have take up a lot of space and be very important. So this is sounding good to me so far. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to take a pad and I'm going to fill up a little bit more frequencies, but make it still really simple at the end of the day too. All right, so that sounded good to me so far. So this is the pad that I ended up choosing, the Encounter Pad in Analog Lab 5. If you know me, you know I use Analog Lab 5 in almost every beat. So, um, so now that the melody is sounding real solid, we're gonna get onto the drums. 
I got this kick out of the foundation kit. It's the kick number three. And as you can tell, it's hidden. You know what I mean? When I listen to a lot of Rumble beats, I notice that the kick is very prominent and then the 808 or the bass kind of is underneath it a little bit. So I made sure to get a kick that is really, really strong and we're going to make that super loud throughout the beat. Go ahead and just turn that velocity all the way up. <laughs> That's where it needs to be if you're doing these kicks, man. Trust me. All right, so I like how the beat sounded right now, so I'm gonna go into my Slap City Hi-Hat MIDI Kit 2. We're gonna grab one of them, throw them in here, and see how the beat be sounding. Oh, yep, that one's it. That one's it right there. I don't, I, hey, we are three deep <laughs> into the hi hat midi kit, and we're, we're done. This this is the one. This one right here is hitting, bro. So, hey, if y'all haven't messed with that hi hat midi kit too, tap in with it. Y'all just saw how easy it was for me. Come on, make it easy for yourself too. Upgrade your life one time. <laughs> All right, so now we're going to add some percussion in here. I personally really like the percussion that is in the Bear Essentials by Bear on the Beat. So we're going to head to that kit real quick, grab some sounds, lay them in. We'll see where we go from there. Okay, so I think we're good right there, so let's start putting these sounds in.
All right, cool, so everything's sounding good, so what I'm finna do is grab an 808 out the foundation kit, put it in, and we're gonna call it a day. So now I'm just going to copy that uh, kick pattern and then I'm just going to adjust it to the root notes of the melody. Hey, I ain't gonna lie. This beat slaps, man. Hey, once that 808 came in, it put everything together. It glued everything together. Now it's like this beat, this beat going stupid now. So, like I said, if you like this loop, you can find it on my Patreon, the first link in the bio. The Patreon also comes with like weekly loops, midis, midi packs, stems, uh, early YouTube videos, and everything like that. So if that sounds like something you're interested in, first link in the bio, you feel me? Uh, my name is Devin. I also go by Infinite or Pop by Infinite, and peace out.